It's recording sideways. Why? Why, Louis? <laughs> Who else likes Interview with the Vampire? There we go. That was that was the movie. Interview with the Vampire. <laughs> because ugh, anytime tech is frustrating or any of that, my sister and I are like, why, Louis? <laughs> Because, yeah, we're nerds. And anyway, moving on. <laughs> What's up, Pickle Peeps? Hello, and welcome to another edition of The Handmade How with Melissa Pickle. I am Melissa. I'm the owner of Metals and Pieces, and, which is my own jewelry brand. But I'm here not to sell you jewelry, but to teach you the specific step-by-step -step how to's of marketing and running a business because come on how often are you in a class and people already tell you what to do and they tell you why to do it but they never technically answer how like i want the click by click how <laughs> so that's what we are here for and today we are going over how to add gifts to email now i don't know about you pickle peep but <laughs> when i'm going through my inbox and i'm checking out emails they are loaded with gifts what's a gif it is a picture with motion on it so either it's a mini video clip or it's a photo and it's got some kind of animation on it whatever those are gifts and GIF is just a file format instead of like an MP4 would be a video format. A GIF is just a different kind of video format. So we're going to go over how to put those in your email because I'm sure you've seen them. Hopefully your inbox is like mine. If it's not, let me know. Come and be like, Melissa, you're crazy. Melissa, nobody's doing this. Melissa, why are you wasting my time? Those are all valid answers. Like, I, I accept those answers. But I don't know. My email inbox is full of them. And when I see GIFs and have, they have... Even if it's a static picture and it just has like sparkle or flashes somewhere on it, I think it's really cute and it's much more attention grabbing than just a regular text or still photo email. Hang on a second, you go ahead and smash that like button, seriously helps out the channel. While you're there, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to get more tips and I will see you on the computer! Okay, Pickle Peep, so here we go. I'm back in my edited lookbook, so these are all of my social media <laughs> versions. If you guys missed that video, there's a link to it right in the top corner of this screen, how to take your lookbook and turn it into a gazillion social media images. Because I hate formatting multiple sizes, so I tend to just do the Instagram square and then apply this everywhere else. I will edit to say that you can do these for reels and any of the animation techniques that I'm going to show you today you can also put in there for reels and it's awesome so if you want to animate your post you can of course just come up here to the animate button and these are kind of ones that they control so you could do something like this and that would make a fine that would be a gif but I mean there's not that much to this screen so it's, it's not a lot of interest so I'm gonna go ahead and click none here and instead I'm gonna come to elements and I have, well, I'm going to show you how to find them anyway. So you can look for things like, I love line ones, like chasing borders and stuff like that. So I'm going to type in my keywords and then I'm going to come over here to the three lines and I want animated. I don't want any static ones. I just want animated. So we're going to apply filters. And let's see what we got for lines. Is there anything that looks cool like it would fit on this book? Let's see. Like, that's kind of cool, and I would like it more if it was just a frame. So they do have ones in here. They will be classy ones. There will be funky ones. So, like, if I put this on here, I could put it... If I didn't perhaps have the frame around there, I could do that to put it on there. So that's kind of cool, but it doesn't really fit this one. Let's see. Is there anything else? Like, this, this might take a little bit of searching. So, like, there's this one that's cool I could make it small and I could rotate it let's see so we could do it like that and maybe I'll duplicate it okay and then I can flip it flip vertical yes okay I just gotta think on that 
If I had a cat face, I would totally put this on as whiskers. Okay. I would probably like it better if they were in sync, but whatever. <laughs> so there's that's an option. It's a little cartoony for me, but that's okay. Like, gifts should be a little bit, like, they're meant to be fun. And you can totally use the gifts that you make. You can also save them as videos, and you can use them as Instagram reels. Like, that star is really cool. The arrows are really cool. But boom That's a cool one. So, I'm going to get rid of all of these, because they're not what I'm going to end up using. But this is just to give you some ideas. Another option that I like a lot, too, is um, frames. Let's see if the ones that I actually like come up. <laughs> you could do something like a dribble. Eh, I don't like that one a lot. Blobs are supposedly really cool, too. But, like, this is cute. The color is a little off for my page, but, like, if you had a lot of, like, very innocent Halloween stuff, or I could even see that with a Christmas collection, that would be adorable to have the sparkly stars like that. That one's kind of nice, the underlines, they have a chasing, there's one like this that I really love that's just a chasing frame. Ooh, let's take a look at that one. So, this is not so square, which that kind of drives me crazy, but whatever, there's that one, that's kind of cool. How dare you have a square image, you aren't supposed to see that. <laughs> like I said, you might have to scroll through a little bit, these don't tend to be super well sorted, and I don't know why, but when you find ones you like, like, keep them in that folder, <laughs> but you kind of get the feel for it. I don't know why it's being so hard to find, like, a valid frame. Just a simple chasing frame. You can use arrows, you can use stars, I use those all the time. I'm probably using the wrong keywords here. Whatever. Okay. Alright, never mind. Ignoring line frame. I'm gonna look instead for smoke, because this is a creepy kind of one here, so I want some smoke instead. And no, not a Sherlock Holmes pipe. So there's like ghostly smoke right there. Those are okay. This is okay. I like could put this on. And we can make it bigger because I like them to be full width if I'm doing an effect like this. And you might be looking at this going, Melissa, that looks stupid. Which, of course, it does look stupid. Ooh, I like that one even more with the blue. But it's going to look less stupid when you change the transparency. So, let's take it down to like a 50% or less. What's that? 42. Answer the universe. 42. Name that quote. Comment below if you know why 42 is the answer to the universe, or at least where it's from. First person gets a puppy. No, I'm not, I'm not sending puppies. <laughs> but come on, it's fun. Okay, so there's that. I really like this one. Ooh, let's layer. Let's layer some smoke here. Again, I'm going to make it nice and big. I want it to kind of go all across there. And let's change our transparency. Woo! Now we're looking kind of cool. But that's okay, because the one that I ended up using in my actual post was this right here. And if you want to see this one. And if you want to see what that looked like, I'll go ahead and scroll down. Here we go. This is the post that I sent out. So, not a crazy ton of animation. I do try to keep... I don't want to say I keep myself stuff elegant and sophisticated, but I do try to keep it a little classy, a little bit minimalist. So, oh, here's one of those frame style ones that I was looking for before a little bit. The poof ones are kind of cool. If I had something with fire going on, that would be really neat. I like these chaser ones, chaser frames. Pizza! <laughs> rabbit holing, rabbit holing all over the place. But anyway, you get the idea. So you do what you want on that. And then for these, it doesn't really matter how long it's animated for. So like you could make it all the way up to 30 seconds on this. Um, but it's fine. This is fine at the five seconds it was. Where'd you go? Five seconds. All right, so when you click download, you have options. You can either download it as an mp4 
or as a GIF. So an MP4 is just a video file, or you can download it as a GIF. Um, I've done both. I tend to download them as MP4s because then I can upload them easier to Instagram and Facebook, and I'm going to turn it into a GIF anyway. So I like having both video formats. So I do the MP4, but you can straight up do it as a GIF. doesn't matter. So you're going to download that, which I've already done, so I'm not going to show you how to download. <laughs> I'm not going to do that part. And then we are going to come over to Giphy.com. That is G-I-P-H-Y dot com. If you say GIF, that's fine, but Jiffy is peanut butter. <laughs> GIF is peanut butter. These are GIFs. That's just mine. That, 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 that's just me. <laughs> okay, so it's free to create an account on Giphy.com. And you can see I'm already in here, and you can straight up create. I'm going to upload. I've never played with create on Giphy. I don't know what that does. But I'm going to go to upload, and then you can drag or drop or browse your file. So I already did this, but I'm going to do it again for you guys. Let me go into my lookbook, cover animated, and open. Okay, so here is my little video file that I downloaded from Canva. And I'm going to go ahead and just upload to Giphy. <laughs> I've never done source URLs or tags or any of that because I don't need it. <laughs> Uploading. And done. Kind of, sort of. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> all right, that's all done. So now you're just going to click on copy link here. And they give you a short link, they give you a GIF link, and I don't know what the HTML5 video loads a smaller and faster version of the GIF. I don't know that you want it to get any smaller. GIFs already... Sh when you take your video and you make it into a GIF, it's already going to compress it and shrink the size. I usually go right ahead and grab the original link. Copy! And then we're going to come over here. I use MailChimp, so I don't care what provider you use, it's going to be a similar process to this. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to replace this image. And you should have options to upload. And usually somewhere around your upload is also import from URL. That's what you want to do. Your email service provider, your ESP, cannot host your video files. I'm going to repeat. Your ESP cannot host your video files, okay? You have to have them hosted somewhere else. Whether that is in your Google Drive, whether that is in, on your website, or YouTube, or like we did right here, we just did it on Giphy. So this is why we did it. We uploaded it here to A, change it, our video into a GIF, and B, give it a hosting platform. Now it's got some real estate on the internet. We're going to come over here and we're going to click import from URL. And again, it's not going to be exactly the same on you if you don't use MailChimp, but it should be somewhere similar. And you're going to be looking for this, to import file from URL. And I'm going to post that in and import. And uploaded. There we go. And you can see, so my image that I created was 1080 by 1080. As a GIF, it's 480 by 480. So I don't know what that HTML5 thing is going to do that's going to compress it even further. But that's regardless, it doesn't matter. So now we have our five seconds of endless loop right here. And it's just as people scroll through, they first stop, they open your email. That's awesome. Next up, they scroll through and just a little bit of animation, a little bit of motion is really going to grab their attention. They'll be like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> that's the point of this, that, oh, wait, what? <laughs> so there you go. See, this time we're on normal. Why? Why, Louis? <laughs> Okay, so what do you think about that? Super quick and simple, right? I mean, this is just one that you will get in the hang of doing as you create your graphics. So as you're doing, you're working on your different marketing campaigns, and maybe you make the lookbook, but you definitely make the social media graphics, and you know there's going to be a corresponding email to go out, probably the email first. Really, the email should go first, and then the social media graphics. Well, it's not always that way. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> right? <laughs> You're going to go ahead and just create the video file, go ahead and then just straight up upload it to Giphy, have all your options done. You can download it from Canva as a GIF file, but then you still need to find a place to host it online before you can actually attach it to an email. So I just 
it's like, eh, why, if I can't use the GIF, then why not, why bother? So I just uploaded to Giphy and done. There we go. That one is all set. And that's it. <laughs> Pickle Peeps, that ends our, that is like the official, official end to our lookbook series. This doesn't even count as part of the lookbook series. It just uses lookbook graphics. So anyway, we are all good on that. Tomorrow I'm going to be going into starting up a super quick little series about uh, domain names. Uh, let me know in the comments if you already have your domain name, if you're look always looking for new domain names, and I'm going to show you guys some nice tricks quickie tricks that if say, say you're running just an Etsy shop or you have a Facebook shop or whatnot and you want to look a little bit more pro, we're going to be working on that tomorrow. So I will see you then, Pickle Peep. Bye!